talented game designer Alf Ingve has built himself a reputation over nearly three decades for releasing quality vertical scrolling shooters for the Commodore 64. Ingve is generally considered as one of the leading innovators when it comes to getting the most out of the Shoot'em Up construction kit, the game creation platform released back in 1987 that he uses to produce his games. Ingve released the game Border Wars back in 1989, which was followed up with the sequel Border Blast 2 in 1992. 25 years later, Ingve decided it was time to revisit his Border franchise with his submission into the Seok Game Creation Compo 2016, Border Blast 3. Border Blast 3 is set in the year 2060, where the world has been in peace for 25 years following the United States' Great Border War with China. During the last war, the United States set up the force field fences around its border in order to protect its cities. Following the war, the protective force fields were shut down by the United States at the insistence of its citizens. However, a new powerful tyrant has risen out from the shadows of the calm to build an army that has taken control and recommissioned the force fields, forbidding anyone from coming in or out of the United States, effectively imprisoning its population. Well, the USA is not one to sit back and allow itself to be dictated to in this way. So the President has called out for help from the Air Force and you have taken it upon yourself to step in to take on this new generation of enemy forces. Bring back peace to the world and free your beloved United States from the prison it helped create. Border Blast 3 continues the vertical scrolling action shooter theme from the previous games of the franchise and can be considered as an incremental enhanced version of Border Blast 2. Your jet fighter has the capability of being able to shoot in multi-directions with the left and right side fire options sending out the wall of fire, a powerful weapon that is far more efficient in eliminating enemies. The action starts off at a mid-paced tempo, with each enemy type having their own distinct movement and shooting pattern, keeping the gameplay interesting from the start while at the same time allowing for good progress to be made through the initial stages. It is during the early gameplay that you notice that the graphics are vibrant and detailed with, with subtle nuances that give the game a bit of an extra polish. Jet fighters cast a shadow on the ground, enemy planes appear to come out from hangars on the ground, and the background terrain contains detailed textures to represent rocky coverings or stockpile of supplies. you will eventually come across the first big enemy battle featuring a big impressive looking craft that takes up almost half of the middle section of the screen. Shooting out bullets in your direction as you try to figure out the best mode of attack while trying to keep your jet intact. As you progress through Border Blast 3, the background terrain changes providing variation to keep the gamer engaged. Additional types of enemies come at you and at times the screen is filled with jets and bullets all coming in your direction with only the occasional lag or stutter to be found, something that the first two games of the series suffered from quite substantially. Along with the improved performance, other main enhancements found in Border Blast 3 include the inclusion of a smart bomb that turns the border red when it is armed and ready to use, instantly wiping out all enemies on the screen. The other enhancement is the ability to play in co-op mode. My favourite graphical effect in Border Blast 3 is when a nuclear bomb is dropped on the vibrant green terrain and upon its detonation the whole screen is lit up in bright white colour, denoting the blinding hot flash energy released. This results in the terrain being transformed into a grey and barren wasteland when the energy flash dissipates. This effect does a good job in portraying the devastating impact that a war can leave on the earth and mankind. Border Blast 3 provides the choice to play either the music soundtrack or sound effects during the game, but not both at the same time. The music soundtrack is another great tune by Richard Bayless, further enhancing the gameplay. Going through the rest of the game, keeping your jet in the air unharmed becomes challenging and engrossing, especially as the big battles at the later stages feature even larger fighters than the ones you initially come across. The action builds up to a crescendo where you finally arrive to the daunting size of the enemy's mobile command centre, 
a flying fortress which the tyrant uses to control the force field barrier. It should not surprise anyone that Border Blast 3 was the winner of the SEA Game Creation Compo 2016 Back to Basics category. It is a great example of how persistence and creativity can overcome limitations imposed by the shortcomings of the original SEA creation platform. Border Blast 3 is a fun game to play and great to look at. But perhaps its greatest legacy will be that it can inspire aspiring game designers and coders to take on the challenge of using the SEA platform to produce their own dream game pushing the tool further beyond what is capable today so that we can continue to have the pleasure of being surprised by the latest SEAC-driven shoot-em-up for many years to come.